A Kubernetes cluster consists of set of worker nodes, call it as nodes. Inside the nodes, we'll deploy the application components as pods. All of these pods, nodes, will be managed by the control plane components. Kubernetes control plane consists of multiple components such as Kube API server. All the functionalities in the Kubernetes cluster will be exposed as an API through the Kube API server. Then there is a etcd. It is a highly available consistent key value store. All the details about the Kubernetes configurations, all the application component definitions that you are setting up within the cluster will be stored in etcd as key value pairs. The next component would be kube scheduler. When you ask to create pods in the Kubernetes cluster, kube scheduler will be picking up these definitions and assigning it into the worker nodes such that pod to be created in this worker node and that scheduling part will be handled by the kube scheduler. And also there are multiple controllers available within a Kubernetes cluster to manage the nodes. There's the node manager to manage the replica sets. There's a replication controller, deployment controller, and many more. All of these controllers will be bundled into a single binary call cube controller manager that will also be a part of the control plane. Worker nodes also has a set of components inside that kubelet is the first component. It will take the pod specifications assigned into that worker node and make sure those pods are running as well as healthy inside the worker node. Kubelet will not maintain any containers created outside the Kubernetes definitions. So only the containers created through Kubernetes definitions will be maintained by kubelet. And then the next two components inside the worker nodes is kube proxy as well as the container runtime. Kube proxy will maintain the network rules on the nodes and then it will help to implement the Kubernetes service concept inside the cluster. Container runtime is the software that is responsible for running containers inside the worker nodes such as Docker. Further, there are multiple add-ons and then few more additional components. Go through the documentation and the course materials and get to know more details.